Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a mod call system in Roblox Studio. This was requested by Gamer Tsukima. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing that incorrectly. But they wanted me to make a video on how to do a mod call system using webhooks, which is actually very simple to do. Um, a mod call system, basically, you can press a button and type in a reason. And it'll, you know, send it. To your discord server saying that oh this person needs a mod so to set things up first let's make um a gui for the mod call system i'm not going to make this look nice i'm just gonna add all you're gonna need is a text box and a text button so let's just name this mod call insert a text box and just move this over here and then you're also gonna need a text button and this the text box is gonna be the reason and the text button is gonna be basically you know the button to call them so let's just name this box reason box and let's name this button right here submit and let's go ahead and make a uh, remote event and just name this call. And let's also put a script in server ship service, just like that. That's all the stuff you're going to need right now. So inside the submit button, go ahead and put a local script. And we want to basically, when this button is clicked, we want to fire this event with the reason and everything. So we can simply just do script up parent mouse button click connect function just like that and then we can fire the event by just doing game that replicates to order dot call fire server and then let's put script dot parent dot parent dot reason box dot text so it's a script and the parent of this script is the submit button and the parent of the submit button is this mod call thing and then dot this reason box in the text and now we can head over to the server script and pick this up let me just zoom in we can pick this up by just doing game dot replicated storage dot call dot on server event connect function uh player which is always going to be the first parameter and reason let's also put http service up here http service equals game get service http service and let's also define your webhook url hook url equals and like i said in all of my other videos to get it i'm going to go to your server go to server settings go to integrations go to webhooks and you can create one right here and just copy this webhook url and that's what you're going to need and just paste it right there now we can make you know the the call so we can do so we can basically do in here local function send report and then player reason just like that and now we need to define basically the text that's going to be there so we can just do local data equals and then we're going to have we're going to make that a table so you got to use these curly block curly brackets and then press enter and it should you know open it like that and then we can do regular brackets and then in here type content and then outside click equals and then uh message actually up here let's put yeah so let's just put reason or no we can we can just put after this content, just put player dot name uh, requests a moderator in the server. And then now we're going to put the game's uh, job ID, which is basically what you can use to join a specific server. So just do game dot job ID, just like that. 
Um, and let's concatenate that also with for the reason and then reason and then let's at here now since we're going to be pinging you know the moderators make sure this is in make sure your webhook is sent to like a moderator only channel you know and then we can do uh data equals http service json encode uh data you can do http service post async data and webhook url just like that now um and then let's just do at the end of this function just do send report player reason just like that now this should work and after we click you know the button it should send it here so let's see so let's do test button just like that oh wait we got an error okay i found the problem do not put data and then webhook url put webhook url and then data like that and then it should work because you know it didn't know what to send it to it was just it wasn't sending it to a webhook and then let's just type test here click the button and as you can see right here lewiscape request a moderator in the server and this is going to be blank because we're in studio so it's not an actual server but if you're in the actual game it'll put like a thing here that you can join for the reason test at here and we can make this look a little bit nicer by just doing like for the reason and we can oh put this right here for the reason put two little things right there dot 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 like this and it should look nicer and you can also add a cooldown on this by doing local debounce equals false local cooldown time equals let's say five seconds five seconds is pretty short but i'll just do that to test uh and i'll do if not debounce then debounce equals true and let's just put this above this end right here. And then wait cooldown time. And then debounce equals false. So once we click the button, it'll send the report. And then we'll be on cooldown for five seconds before we can send it again. So let's go ahead and see if this works. So if I go ahead and click test here, it'll send it. But if I click it again and again, it doesn't work again until I wait five seconds and then the cooldown will be gone. So yeah, that's basically how you make a simple mod call system in Roblox Studio. I'll leave my Discord server in the description below so you guys can join that and ask for help if you need it or anything. And yeah, 